Hi, this is Thunderbird Daily. Today I want to show you how to create filter rules in order to get your inbox clean once again. Filter rules is basically a way of moving emails to a different location. In Thunderbird we just call them filters. And uh, in order to create those filters, there's a bit of know-how necessary in order to create them. And my add-on Quick Filters makes this process much, much easier. Once we have um, installed Quick Filters, we find this button this new button, the filter assistant. The idea of that is that the quick filters filter assistant will help to move the emails in the way that we do it. That means we show it, we move the email to another folder and then it will do that same action for us in the future based on what the email was. And I'm going to step you through the process here. So here we have um, an email from mAudio. It's from no reply at m-audio.com. And we want it in this folder and we want it to do that automatically. So the first step is to activate the filter assistant button, which goes red. And also if your quick folder is installed, that goes red as well, just to tell us, hey, I'm watching what you're doing now. And then we grab the email and drop it into the folder. Onto the top or in the folder tree, it doesn't matter. So we've dropped it into the folder and I get a, a few choices here. And what I want is I want it based on the sender. I can also say oh, based on the sender's domain. This is slightly different. I'll explain that in a minute. Let's say based on the sender. So um, I've just moved this email from no reply at m-audio.com and that's the sender. And what do I want to do? I want to do it, um, I want it to move into the folder. So that's an action, target folder. That's already pre-selected. So really the only thing I need to decide is which of the templates I used. So usually based on the sender is the one we want. So we say, okay, we create a filter. And you can see there's a name, filter name, Studio M Audio. It's a bit too specific. I'm just going to delete this. Studio M Audio. And it's got rules already put in. The from contains no reply at M audio, the to contains no reply at M audio. That's the match. That's basically any email from them and to them. So if I reply, or if I have replied and uh, uh, I have the copy in the inbox, then this reply will also be moved. So that's a good preset to have. We can remove the two if we don't like it. So if, if these conditions are true, any of those, it's either to or from them, then we perform these actions and let's move the message to M audio on Mailbase. And if you notice, that's a lot of things that you'd have to set manually without quick filters and that, that all takes time. If you see, I only did like one click. I only said, use that template based on sender. So that's all I need to do. I tweak the filter name a little. And all I need to do is now click OK. And this will create the filter and then it will show it in the list of filters. You see I have a lot of filters already. The filter is enabled, it's selected, it's at the top of the list. And it's selected so that I can click Run Now. Why will I click Run Now? Because I want to test it. I want to move any other emails that I have from M-Audio or that I've sent to M-Audio from the inbox into the M-Audio folder. So all I need to do now is click Run Now to test it. So if you notice, I have eight unread emails in my inbox and I have two unread emails in my M-Audio folder. Let's run it and let's see what happens here. Just run. Nothing changed because I didn't have any more unread emails, but we're gonna redo this step in a minute from now. So we got that sorted, we got the studio folder set up and we can just close this. Now I have another email there from mAudio, but it's from eMarketing at mAudio. And if you remember, the filter was based on the sender, so I didn't move this one, but I, want, I wanted to do the same, so I'm just gonna teach that as well. I'm gonna drag that into mAudio. And again, the filter assistant has noticed I've moved the email and it tells me you can create a new filter based on that or you can use the existing filter and expand it. It's called merge. So I say I already have a filter, click next and based on sender I can do or now I'm going to show you based on sender's domain. So what's the domain? The domain is basically the portion of the email address after the ad. So it's at m-audio.com. Let's click on edit filter and see what happens. Okay, and as we can see, it has opened the existing filter, Studio M Audio, with the old rules in it, but now it has added the rule from ends with m-audio.com. And we can see that we should have chosen that earlier already because it would have caught those two as well because they also end on mAudio.com. We click OK. The filter list comes up and we click Run Now. And it will have moved any other emails from that M-audio domain.
Okay, let's continue on. M-Audio was bought by Avid. So we have now emails from avid.com and they're also M-Audio. At least from my perspective they are because I have an M-Audio sound card and an M-Audio MIDI box. Let's just grab that, move it in here real quick. Merge. Click the existing filter, click next. Based on the domain. Okay, edit that filter. And here it is. We'll scroll down and we see that the from ends with the domain avid.com. I think I might have some unread emails here in the inbox, which is now down to six unread emails. So we should see that count decrease and the count on M Audio increase if we run it again. So we just say we're happy with this. We'll click OK and click Run now. And you can see the Avid was gone. There's two emails removed from my inbox and they, they've moved over to the M Audio folder. Alright, so we're already going places here, so now if I get a newsletter from Avid, it will automatically go to the M Audio as soon as it comes into my inbox. Now, have we got anything else that's M Audio related? Let's have a look at M Audio. We'll just search subjects. Okay, here's another one from support. UK support at inmusicbrands.com. There are UK support for these sound cards, so let's do the same thing. Let's grab that. We're still in assistant mode. Put it there. The assistant pops up. We say merge, next, based on the sender's domain. That's fine. So we want in music brands. Add a filter. We scroll down. Add in music brands. I had moved the whole conversation into the inbox, so I had replied to them. So I won't duplicate that rule. So I'm just going to say not just from, but also to. So that uh, to. If I reply to them, just paste this. You see there's quite a lot of steps if you want to do this manually, so it's good to do this early. And I don't have to select the folder, that's all done. Let's just click OK. Alright, and run it. And then these two should move over from there to there. They're not unread anymore. I can make them unread if I want. Uh, so I see that this count changes. So we should get more into the Amordio folder. So run now. And they're all gone. And M Audio has 10 unread emails now. Oh yeah, one more thing. I, I want to move this down. I want this alphabetically. So there's um, one way I can do it. I can just cut it. I can, unfortunately, I can't drag and drop. I can I can move it down, but that'll take a long time. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to go down to Studio. The Studio filters. And then I'm going to go Paste. Now it's here. Okay. Now there's another way we can sort alphabetically, I'll show that in another video. Right. So <clears throat> once I'm done with this teaching, these rules will run automatically. Whenever I get a note, e new email from M-Audio or from any of those domains, they will be filtered or moved into the M-Audio folder automatically. Now that we are finished creating the filters using the filter assistant, uh, we, we want to end that process and we don't want the Thunderbird looking at what we do all the time and then suggest, hey, you want a new filter, you want to create a new filter. So I switch the filter assistant off, everything back to normal. And then I can move my emails as normal. I don't have to click away the filter systems all the time. That's it for today. Remember to download quick filters from the Mozilla page and I'll leave a link in the low bar. Thanks for watching.